Hello everyone, breaking headline parody story report entertainment show. More troubles for Congressman Anthony Weiner, who now has been linked to uh, emailing a 17 year old girl some emails over the internet. And um, the source said that he has decided to seek treatment but he is determined he he resists us to resign and um, Nancy Pelosi said that uh, you know I urge Congressman Weiner to seek the help without the pressure of being a member of the congressman of the, of the Congress and uh, Nancy Pelosi is encouraging him to get treatment, you know. He needs treatment. He, um, he got a lot of serious problems, I believe. Uh, you got to be very careful how you conduct yourself in this day and age and time. And I'm urging any woman that has had any kind of affair with him that's inappropriate or might be you know illegal or something like that to contact the law enforcement and tell them what you know um, he, might, he said he didn't I, I think he's saying he didn't have sex with this 17 year old girl maybe, maybe he didn't I don't know but anyways, I do know there's a lot of pressure building on him and he needs to seek treatment and I urge him to step down, step down from the Congress. Nancy Pelosi is urging him to step down. Seems like as this snowball snowballs bigger and bigger, a lot more stuff is hitting the fan. He has admitted to uh, you know, having inappropriate um, affairs with women over the internet, but uh, you know, I think an investigation needs to be done to see if he uh, used the taxpayers' money. He has admitted that he lied to his wife, betrayed his wife, betrayed his constituent. He is admitted liar. Somebody said. Once a thief, always a thief. Once a liar, always a liar. So I, I know a lot of people, they believe that uh, if a politician will betray his wife, they don't believe they will betray them as a taxpayer or a voter. And the same people, I've interviewed them and they say that uh, they know a basketball player, a football player, these athletes, they know they will murder their wife and kill their wives, kill their unborn babies, do drugs, rob banks, steal, but they don't believe they will fix the game. And just, just the way people are, they, they just don't believe these athletes will fix the game. And, these same people, they believe that if a politician will betray his wife, the mother of his children, that he won't betray them, the voters. But the way the politicians have broke the law, that they can create waste jobs for their bush and buddies and get kickbacks up under the table. A lot of waste jobs that they create, I'll tell you a few of them, they spend millions of dollars a month all over the United States putting fluoride in water. They spent $150 million doing a study to find out why Mexicans don't get cavities. And they come up with the conclusion there's some fluoride in the water and they created a waste job for their bosom buddies to put fluoride in our water. But it, that's not what it is. Mexicans 
a mongoloid people and mongoloid people they have real good teeth they're like a dog's teeth the dog don't get cavity that's but they wanted to create a waste job just to put fluoride in the water and they charge you more money every month to do that and they shouldn't you know it's, it's a job they created for their bush and buddies they created a job for their bush and buddies uh, come on television like African American come on and say, man, I'm an American. Chinese, I'm an American. White man, I'm an American. And, uh, you know, that's just a waste, that's just a waste job that they created. Then they created another waste job. They got some person going, hey, buddy, hey, hey, put a tarp on that load. Keep America clean, man. Just a waste job. It's just a waste job. But then they, they're all, all politicians, they live on these words constituent, squander, misappropriate, waste, create jobs for their bush and buddies, and raise the taxpayers' taxes, tax and spend, and create jobs for their bush and buddies. I've got to tell you my disclaimer before I go much further. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty, and some of the pictures have been changed to, to protect the innocent and the guilty. And everything in my parody story entertainment show is a parody, not to be taken seriously. Don't take anything I say personal. Don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. Now I want to tell you who I am. I've got to sum it up pretty quick. I'm Rodney Danger. I'm going to get back to the story. But I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin. He don't get no respect. Seemed like after he deceased, the monkey jumped on my back about three times as bad. I'm 63 years old now. Went to get me a pack of cigarettes. A bitch boy carded me. I said, hey, pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy still carded me. Then I went to get me a six pack of beer. Another bitch boy there carded me. I said, hey, pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy, I don't get no respect. Then I went to a family restaurant. I went to pay for my bill. He charged me full price. I said, hey! I want my senior citizen discount. He carded me. Took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a black dude. And my wife turned gay on me. I said, honey, why would you turn gay? She said, well, man like you in the world. One day, my wife and I was fixing to make love, and she was just on the bed, her legs in the figure four position. And uh, I said, honey, what's wrong? You can't fantasize anyone you had sex with while we make love? She said, no. I said, hell, I can't either. Anyways, I went to free porn, you know, the pressure was getting to me. I went to free porn, phone sex .com. It's a girl boy, she said, hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? She said, over the telephone, I'll give you permission to do anything you want to do to me. I'll let you go in the front door, back door. I don't have a gag reflex. You can hold my head down. I said, damn, I got my dingling excited. So. I called live service. She said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the phone. Then I had to generate some money, so I went to free buy, sell, trade, anything dot com, and I put a 55 Chevy on there. Once you put it on there one time, to keep reposting for 30 days till you sell it, I sold it for three thousand dollars, and I sold it at free buy, sell, trade, anything dot com. Then my wife and I, we went on and got a divorce. And uh, I found a young girl, they got a personal section on there, I found a young girl, she's 21 years old, we're deeply in love, she wants me to get her pregnant, she weighs 105 pounds, she's a Caucasian, and we love each other. If there's any critics who want to criticize my show, appreciate you typing your criticism below. I got to wrap it up, if anybody wants to see any more of my shows, type in Rodney Dangerfield Cousin, God bless everybody.